All right, welcome to Rapid Updates. If you like quick news and events coming at you, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Welcome to Rapid Updates. I'm gonna jump right into another pandemic is upon us, so to speak. You've heard about it. You've heard people talk about it. Some people just didn't wanna believe it because you wanna stay optimistic, but you don't wanna prepare for it. A lot of you have prepared for it. You've adapted and you shifted and you pivoted. That's good for you because that's what this what this new wealth transfer is going to be all about. Those that have been prepared and not basing their income off of one income source. But let's get right into it. It's inflation. It's a nasty word. It's floating around the news all over YouTube. Inflation thwart the U.S. economic recovery. We're still in a pandemic. A lot of states are doing better. The United States is doing better. Other countries are like right in the middle of the pandemic. It affects all of us in many different ways. But on this topic, this report says corporate America is poised to deliver the best earnings season in years, raising hopes of a swift economic recovery. For months, Wall Street investors have been fretting over inflation as the nation's economy reopens from the pandemic. What's disturbing is Jerome Powell from the Federal Reserve is, was saying back in February and March, doesn't think inflation is going to be here. It's going to be maybe 1%. We might see it in 2022. No, we are seeing it right now. You're seeing it all over. And now gas, you can expect that to go up. It's not just because it's summertime and people are traveling. Look at the U.S. dollar. The Dixie is dipping 90 point one zero cryptocurrency is is changing rapidly right now because nobody has confidence in the usd wall street just took a dive 530 points that's s p 500 the nasdaq all down today you see gold popping back up oil is at 65 here's the brent crude we're at sitting at 69 dollars with this cyber attack on the pipeline and i'm going to do a video on that here after this one because there's gas stations running out of gas right now here's silver today 2758 but you can see where it's been since early this morning where it's gone up on this trend line here a little cup and a handle right here silver's looking good and with the silver squeeze happening right now with wall street silver and everybody's attention going to sound money because of the inflation you can bet and this is my opinion only that silver is going to explode again this is not financial advice and of course gold and cryptocurrency is going to create history because you're living in history right now right now you are seeing possibly financial history taking place here the spring and summer of 2021 so i want to talk about the dollar here and its status stanley says the fed is endangering the dollar's global reserve status he says the fed's policy is totally inappropriate the key points to this article fed policies could end up threatening the long-term health of the U.S. dollar. Quote, I can't find any period in history where monetary and fiscal policy where this, the Federal Reserve policy aims at keeping markets and the economy afloat during the pandemic could end up threatening the long-term health of the U.S. dollar. Here it is, people. We've been talking about it. We know digital currency is out. Chinese yuan has their own digital currency out. The United States is trying to catch up, although I think they're further ahead than what they say. We're probably a year and a half, two years out from seeing that. And as they keep printing more money, the U.S. dollar is going to continue to fall. And you're going to see more people making decisions of mass adoption into Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other means like silver and gold. Jumping over to this article, it's the same billionaire. U.S. dollar losing reserve status to crypto in 15 years. 15 years is quite a long time. I would think it would be less than 10 years, maybe even less than five years. I'm going to head down here towards the bottom drunken miller highlighted for the last 20 years the u.s treasuries have been a go-to safe haven asset he goes on and says don't look at gold to retake its place on the world stage he added that he could see ledger-based cryptocurrency 
as the world's next reserve currency. He noted that nobody trusts the Chinese yuan and the euro is an, a complete mess. So there you have it. Somebody coming out and saying that cryptocurrency, he could see it taking the world stage of the reserve currency. But someone's coming out and you're going to see more and more people talking about cryptocurrency as the world's next reserve currency. He says five or six years ago, crypto was a solution in search of a problem. Now the problem has been identified. It's Jerome Powell and the other central banks. The U.S. dollar is losing its reserve currency's luster as the greenback's share of global reserve hits a 25-year low. And this is from the IMF. The main reason behind the decline of the U.S. dollar share of global reserves are short-term exchange rates and central banks' decision to move away from the dollar. So other central banks are losing confidence in the dollar, you guys. Many analysts are projecting a weaker U.S. dollar going forward, citing rising inflation fears and growing debt worries. Hey, thank you for being on this video, and I hope that was rapid enough for you. Give me a thumbs up, and check out these videos up here in the corner. We'll see you in the next video.